Oh, hi everybody. Clover here, bringing y'all our latest recap on our last war. So we played against Tulsa time, and we barely won by one star thanks to Ek. So I'm going over three attacks because um, uh, I guess we had maintenance last night or this morning, and it wiped like half of our replays. So be showing three attacks off. Uh, they did uh, use all their attacks up, so this is what they did to our side. Okay, did pretty good. And this is what we did to them. I think it would have been even if we tied it, we still would have won by like three percent destruction. So. Anyways, first attack we're going to be looking at is number three by I'm going Commando. He's going to be bringing, I believe, a Shattered, yeah, Shattered Goho right here. So he's going to start with bringing a um, Hound in there, get the CC. He's going to pull it to the uh, three o'clock over here with the two uh, two archers, one healer trick for the Lava Hound. So it pretty much just is ignored the entire raid. Drops one Golem on the left side, starts his uh, uh, starts his funnel. Uh, just another one. He didn't want the golem to aggro to that cannon, so he waited for a second for it to um, drop, or for it to go down before he dropped it. Brings in wall breakers. He gets into that first little sector, and he's going to drop his heroes. There's his king down. And dropping a jump right there just so he can get to the queen, take it out. Sets off one of the double set bombs right there. Starts sprinkling in hogs on the bottom in a sort of surgical fashion. <clears throat> so he's going to be working his way around. Drops his first heal on that Tesla. They're moving up, and he's got a few more hogs he's going to drop in down low. I believe that Wizard Tower doesn't go down, because I think there's a double set right there at the bottom, too, that um, takes out, like, three or four of his hogs, but it's no big deal, though. They just had to backtrack back on it at the very end. Um, so they're moving along. Dropped another heal on the other Tesla uh, around those uh, other high HP defenses. Takes it out. Dropped his last heal on there. So all the giant bombs are down. So like I said... The, They'll often take out the Arch Tower and then backtrack towards that Wizard Tower, and that's about it. But um, he's already dropped his cleanup troops, and oh, I'm sorry, that cannon's up too. Still has his queen up, still has his king up, still has an unpopped golem, so he overkilled this base pretty good. So we're going to fast forward through this cleanup, because all that's left is taking that Wizard Tower out, and then taking out the rest of it. Actually good that it didn't go down, because um, there was three storages there uh, down on the bottom, so it actually worked out pretty well for the hog to clean up um, quicker. All right, next attack we're going to be looking at is, uh, I believe, Gun. Yes, Gun. He's going to be bringing a, um, I guess, a, um, a Golai Loon, basically what it is. But he's, he's bringing a stone um, uh, kill squad over here, though. He's going to be dropping his golems first, starting that funnel. He's going to drop an Earthquake, I believe, right on that Expo to open up the sector. And that allows his kill squad to be able to get to all three of those air defenses on the core and take out the queen. So just a minute, he's gonna drop wall breakers and a third golem, and then his um, his heroes behind him to go ahead and work their way in there. So here comes the king, there's the queen. They're working their way in there, and then here comes the um, kill squad, I'm sorry, the uh, CC out. <clears throat> I don't believe, oh, just boys on too. okay, I'm sorry. Um, they go down pretty easily. There's the earthquakes, so everything's open. Drops a heal for them and a rage to go ahead and get them past that uh, kill. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn notifications again. Gets them uh, past that CC. Uh, King moves up, takes out the queen. They um, take out that top air defense, and then these uh, golems on this bottom air defense take it out as well. So he's got no more um, spells left, but that's okay, though. There's only one air defense left. He starts his hound right there, drops his balloons behind it. Starts making his way across. This uh, second hound is beautiful too. It soaks up like literally in the entire like half of the base and all the traps that are in it right here. Watch this. All the traps just the balloons have nothing else to worry about afterwards. So <clears throat> drops the other loons down. <clears throat> They're working their way through. And then um, pretty much from here it's kind of over because I mean he's still got both of his hounds unpopped. So they're going to tank for a while for whatever is um, going to be left. Drop, go ahead and drop some um, wizards down on the bottom to start the cleanup. And then uh, I think right here one of the hound does pop by that Tesla, but the other one still has like full health. So he drops some back end loons too on those last defenses, which is good. So like I said, it's pretty much over right there. There goes that hound, but the other one is still full health, so it's not going to pop. So that's pretty much the end of this attack. Go ahead and fast forward through this uh, replay. I'm sorry, through this cleanup. Very good attack. Good job, gun. I believe uh, tomorrow we're, um, 
I'm not gonna be doing a live. I'm, I'll, I won't upload a live attack tomorrow because we're waiting a day. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. So last attack we're looking at is hype on number 15. He's gonna be bringing a weird attack. Not weird, but bringing an earthquake down or quake spells down. Open up that sector, and he's gonna be bringing eight witches. He almost could have dropped that. I don't know. He may have been able to drop that spell, those quakes, right on the town hall, and it might have opened up to the CC uh, as well, but I, I don't know, though. Eh, I probably could have, I think. I think that's enough space. Anyways, drops wall breakers down, drops um, golems down to start the funnel, and then in a minute, he's going to drop the rest of his witches behind. There they are. So all the witches are down. King's down. Uh, is Queen already? I can't see Queen. I don't know if she's down yet. <clears throat> so they're setting off one bomb right there, but um, he's going to be bringing in a few hogs on the left side too with that uh, giant tanking for them. <clears throat> it's funny, this giant survives the entire raid. And watch, just, just watch him in the corner. He's just beating on this one wall for literally the entire rest of the, rest of the, ugh, rest of the raid. There we go. So uh, drops a heal for his witches right there in the middle so they can take out that CC pretty easily. They're moving their way up. And then he's got some wizards on, uh, which is on the outside, tanking for his wizard, so they can take out the outside defenses. Drops uh, his one more giant on the left to tank, or on the right to tank, and then uh, some more hogs on it too, just to clean up those easy little uh, defensive buildings. See, but both of his, um, both of his ha or hogs uh, hit spring traps though. But they take out, th yeah, three defenses. That was, nice. that was a pretty good uh, trade right there. Then only four hogs with uh, one giant took out three defenses. It's pretty good. So, uh, pretty much right here is when everything kind of fizzles out and it takes a while. So, I'm going to fast forward to this part because it like he took almost the entire three minutes for this attack. But pretty much it's just his witches all still alive with all the skellies moving their ways, uh, moving their way around the entire rest of the base. So, as his queen up in the middle, I believe he drops her, her ability right there. Takes out those buildings pretty fast. And then, uh, see, that giant up there still just, see, his whole goal was to get to that uh, archer tower. And he's just like, well, what do I do now? My life is pointless. Again, uh, long ass attack. So everything's cleaned up, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I our uh, replays got all wiped, so I didn't have any more to show. But um, tomorrow, the reason I'm not gonna be having any live attacks tomorrow is because we're waiting uh, one day to start our war because we are going to be merging with uh, a clan that we faced, I think, two wars ago, Red Hot Heat. We uh, have been in the talks with them for a while about merging. So, uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what time, we're going to be merging over with them, and then we'll start a war. So, if I have time tomorrow, I have some replays from our uh, um, inner clan scrimmage that we did uh, about two weeks ago. So, um, if I have some time, I'll go ahead and show those off and record just so we can have a video for the day. But anyways, like I said, guys, um, I will see you guys, what is say, Wednesday? I'll see you guys for yeah Friday with a live attack. Um, Alright guys, y'all take it easy.